Today was a crazy day. Hey, Eve. She's sleepy right now. Mm -hmm. But today was a crazy day. We got some uh, some Mickey mail, not Mickey mail, but magical mail today unexpectedly from the P.O. Box. We wanted to show you because it is insane. First of all, this one was, uh, they were all completely unexpected, but this one is insane because we met two of our viewers, Mark and Sandy, and you guys are great. We remember meeting you. Mm -hmm. And don't think you stopped us because we no. love when everybody talks to us. I don't know, maybe that night I think it was at closing or something. Yeah, but it was right at close. We will give anybody all of our time because we live here. Yeah. And people come here on vacation, so if they're willing to give us the time, we're going to give them the time because we live here and we can go back to Illuminations. We can go back to Epcot. But look at this insanity. This Mark 3D designed and they had made. This is metal. And it's a miniature world and showcase it even emblem. it says on the back, like, thank you. It was magical to meet you. Mark and Sandy. And the day we met them. So cool. Mark and Sandy. Look how young he is. It was the first bit of concept and music song, musical song he wrote for the whole thing before he even knew it was really going to be anything. And that I, was I be a CD. stumbled upon it somehow. And I literally watched it. You can ask Sarah. You can ask <laughs> Sarah's sisters. You can ask any of our close friends. Literally since, since like 2009 or 2010, whenever it was. I've literally Here listened to it. was half the views. <laughs> I was half the views. I was like half a million views on this thing. So when they actually came brought out to a musical, it was like a miracle had occurred in my life. So thank you yeah. so much, Ashley. That was incredible. Wild. I don't know what we did to deserve any of these gifts, but thank you, thank you. Thank you. Because we are. But it's only because it's the holiday season and these are gingerbread beignets from French Quarter. And we only got three. Could have gotten six. Exactly. Thank you, Carolyn, for telling us though. I'm gonna give this a whirl. We love the beignets last time we were here. We could, I can only imagine how good these gingerbread ones are gonna be. <laughs> That was super hot. <laughs> Here we go. Does it taste like gingerbread? It tastes like gingerbread and the powder they put on top is not the normal powdered sugar. But I burned my tongue really bad when I first took that coffee. Put it in a replay right now of me burning my tongue. So, can you taste? <laughs> barely. I'm wearing all black. You gotta cover up so the powdered sugar doesn't get on you. What kind of powdered sugar is that? It's like different, isn't it? It has cinnamon in it. Oh, my lips are even burnt right now. It's so good. They got, they got some decorations here. They got some Christmas. And over here we got more Christmas. Christmas, 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 and more Christmas. More Christmas, more Christmas, more Christmas, more Christmas. And it smells. Smells? Like Christmas. Is this how it always smells? No, it does not always smell like this. It smells like a. Uh... Oh, maybe. Let us know down below if French Quarter has. It feels super fresh. Let us know down below if they have like a, a French Quarter fragrance. Oh! Christmas, 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 Christmas. Christmas! Christmas! I'd say French Quarters was emphasized, their decorations were emphasized in the wreaths. So I think we should go to another resort with a very similar name. What are you thinking? I think there's a... I'm thinking I hear a little musician right now by a little name, Bob. Sarah, does, you want to know a secret about Sarah? She, a lot of times she forgets where the car is parked. And a lot of times means... Always. Yes, and if I don't lead the, the if I don't subtly lead the walk to the car, it's like like a, like right now. <laughs> right now, she would have totally walked over there, and we would have been gone forever. Uh, 
Um, we got something. Peter bamboozled me. I did bamboozle her. Since we're not going to be able to finish Epcot Festival of the Holidays. We're going to go again, but the way that we were able to like, complete food and wine, I don't think we're going to be able to get something from Epcot. But that's okay. Yeah. It happens. We'll, we'll do it next year. But this is a Chicago classic, Florida raised holiday drink. This is, what do they call it? Mold wine. What would they call it? Magnolia mulled wine. So it's like red wine hot with holiday spices and some fruit zing and a cookie. Yeehaw Bob has been walking around for like 15 minutes just introducing himself to everybody. check him out. I think he's Wednesday through Saturday, 8.30 till 11 or 12 at Port Orleans Riverside. Just go there, get a glass of water, don't even have to get anything, just go there and enjoy his, his show. He's so good. And if you have seen him before, go back and see him again. This is the second or third time we've seen Yabob since we moved here four months ago, and it's not going to be the last. And now he's even working in Christmas songs, so he's just such a, he's such a goof. Is the best way to put it. He's just a goof. Sorry, Yeha Bob, but we had to skip town because we got three hours till showtime. Two and a half hours, right? Yep. But look at. We're gonna meet up with Tyler and his family. Yes. Partners. But look at this fun stuff they got going on. They got like, they got a picture area and banners and lights and fun. Woo! Mm -hmm. We just picked up our tickets out of the self serve kiosk. But look at all this fun. We got lines. We got like a lights. Red Look at that. We got a red carpet. We got strobe lights and all kinds of good stuff. We got fancy cameras over here. What is all this? There's so much excitement going on. With your strength, we should have gotten the marathon yesterday. Just joking. Look at that over there. Look at. You can take a picture in front of this wall. Check this out, disclaimer. The Star Wars characters appearing today are members of a local fan group. They don't represent the Walt Disney Company or Lucasfilm. But what I do have to say is out of all of the fan groups I feel like I've ever seen or experienced, when it comes to like the Stormtrooper groups, I don't know names or anything like that, so don't hate on me. But I do have a few friends that have been like members of them, and they're probably like the most giving back to the communities. Like they do a lot of visits to hospitals and to, to organizations, dress up in all of their character garb because it's all like funded by themselves. Scott, sometimes, sometimes the music just calls you. This guy is playing acoustic brave. Oh my God. <laughs> we got it. We got it. <laughs> Look who I found. Look at these awesome shirts. We got a Vans, Vans Refrigeration. We got a Vans, Vans Refrigeration. College program sweatshirt. Well, I'm working, Bob. Yes. We're meeting. We're. He's going to the 10:45 show because he's a sneak. I tried telling him to buy tickets with us. My friends are in there now. You need to get in there. No, no, no. Like they're watching one. Oh. Now. Show. We almost bought the marathon yesterday, which would have been an 8 p.m. show. I did the Dark Knight marathon. Oh. That was here. Let us know down below if you've done any marathons. My boss did a uh, Oscar marathon, best movie, best picture marathon a couple years ago. We got a gift from Tyler's mom. Ooh. Look at that. That is 
perfect. <laughs> and it's nice because it's like on a wood finish. It can go with our stuff in our living room. It just went natural. So much. Oh. Oh. So now we've got one for our office, and this could be good in our living room. tripod. Today was the first day we actually kept it on the G7X as like a stick but then easy to go like I realized something. This looks it's very similar to uh, Big Hero 6's little guys but looks a lot like the claws from uh, Incredibles. <laughs> Just my thought. Alright. I'm about to get in line to go in. Are you ready? I am ready. I'm nervous. I'm ready for the previews because I love previews. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm ready to see this movie. Yes, you are. We'll see you on the other side. Bye. Last Jedi. We went to the wrong side of the theater. So, we waited in line. We waited in line, walked over the red carpet, and we went to the wrong side. Next show. Wow, wow. Wow, that was incredible. I feel like we'll have more time to talk about it tomorrow. But it is 3.20 in the morning and I usually get up at, I usually get up at 6 mm -hmm. to go to work and I have to go to work tomorrow. And I am driving him and running errands right after, so. We're both getting up in, <laughs> in four hours and, or I wish, Three. in two hours and, two hours and 40 minutes. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.